Hey guys, I'm Tony from Tony Teaches Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to move some of your blog posts from one WordPress website to another WordPress website. Now, a lot of people don't know that there's actually an official WordPress plugin that takes care of most of what we're trying to do. The one shortcoming that this plugin does have is that it does not bring the images associated with the post from, you know, website A to website B. But that's okay, there is a supplemental plugin that will work with that will accomplish that for us. So don't you guys worry, I'm gonna walk you through every single step of the process. Let's hop right on into it. Right here you'll see that I have my generic general lifestyle blog which contains blog posts from travel to tutorials, reviews, and tech, tech stuff as well. Specifically, what we're trying to do today is take out some of the tech related blog posts and take them over to my other website tonyteaches.tech, which is going to be where most of my tech-related blog posts live in the future. I'm trying to niche down. So there are a category of blog posts called website, and you can see that here there's four of these blog posts that we're going to be moving today. And in order to move these from website A, which is tonyflorida.com, to website B, which is tonyteaches.tech, we have to go into website A's dashboard. And on the left-hand side here under tools, click on export. And there's a couple different options here. You can export posts, pages, etc. but we're interested in exporting posts today, specifically from the website category. Now, I alluded to a shortcoming of this plugin and that is the fact that it does not export the images associated with the blog post, which is kind of silly in my opinion. But that's okay, we can take care of that with that supplemental plugin that I mentioned. So if we go into our plugins, add new section, and search for a plugin called Export Media with Selected Content. Go ahead and install this plugin and right ahead, activate it. So once that's activated, you'll see that there's actually no settings associated with this. But when we go back into tools and export just like we did, you'll see this new checkbox show up here that says export media with selected content. That's all the plugin does. We want that box to be checked in order for those images to go over from you know website A to website B. So similar to what I just did, go to posts and select the category that you want to export. In my case, it's website. And we can click on download export file. This will give you an XML file of your blog posts and images in your downloads folder, which we'll then use in website B. So let's hop on over to website B, go to the dashboard, and in the dashboard, kind of similar to what we just did, go to tools, but instead of export, click on import. Now the last row of this table has WordPress, and it says you can have the ability to import posts, pages, comments, etc. Um, this is the official plugin that I was talking about, so we want to install that now, and click on run importer. Now, this, the XML file that we just downloaded, this is where we're gonna select that file. So click on choose file, and right in your downloads folder, you'll find that um, XML file. Click on open, and upload file and import. Now, right here, it's asking us, what author do you want associated with your blog post? For me, that's pretty easy. There is only one author on my website. It is Tony Florida, that's me. And finally, there's this checkbox, download and import file attachments. We'll go ahead and check that as well. And finally, you can click on submit. Now, in my experience, this takes a few minutes, so I'll catch back up with you guys when it finishes. All right, guys, I'm back. That took a few minutes, like I said, and I'll be honest with you, I went through this process quite a few times, and sometimes I did see a timeout happen. And in my experience, this has not been a failure. What ends up happening is the web page might time out and you'll see that happen, but that's okay. That just means that the front end process has timed out, but stuff is still going on in the background. Those images are still being downloaded in the background. So don't panic, just wait a few minutes. And when you go back into your, whoops, I got logged out here. When you go back into your WordPress dashboard, and filter by your new category, which should show up, you'll see that those blog posts were successfully imported, including um, a comment for this one, which is really cool. So let's just double check that everything looks good. So if you wanna edit this blog post, you'll see that it looks like it's formatted correctly and the pictures are there. The one thing I want you to check 
is to make sure that these images are being hosted from website B, in my case, Tony Teaches Tech, and not website A, TonyFlorida.com. So click on an image and go over to the text view, and you'll see here that um, these are actually indeed being hosted from TonyTeaches.tech. Now, if we didn't download that um, export plugin that we did earlier, these images would have been hosted from the old website, TonyFlorida.com, which is not what we want because we're trying to remove the website, or I'm sorry, we're trying to remove the, the blog post from that website. So this looks good. Um, the last thing that we want to do, if everything looks good here, is go back to website A and find those posts over here and we want to permanently redirect them with a 301 redirect from that website to our new website and the reason we want to do this is because search engines like google do not like duplicate content if you have the same blog post on multiple websites it's going to confuse google and they're actually going to penalize you for having that so you don't want that you want your web website um, blog posts to show up as high as it can in search results. So for that reason, we want to um, redirect these blog posts. Anybody who goes to the old URL will be redirected to your new website. And that way, I think some of that, um, they call it link juice, is transferred from your old website to your new website. So if your blog post was ranking high before, it could still rank high after. So let's do that. Um, the way we do that is with a plugin. And the, I'm going to open up a new tab here just so we can keep this list of blog posts open here. Um, this plugin is called Redirection by John Godley. So let's open up the settings for this plugin and we'll get rid of this. Under the Redirects tab here, all the way at the bottom, the bottom, the bottom, you can add a new redirection. All you need to type in is a source URL and the target URL. And if you look at these advanced options, you'll see that it is indeed a permanent 301 redirect. So for example, I'll just work with one of these. Um, this first blog post that we're moving over, let's do a quick edit and copy the slug. So before people would go to tonyflorida.com slash WordPress podcast plugin. So they want the source URL as a relative URL. So that'll be slash WordPress podcast plugin. Um, and then the target, everything else is fine here. The target URL is going to be the full URL of your website B. In my case is going to be HTTPS colon slash slash Tony teaches dot tech slash WordPress pod, podcast plugin. So that looks good, right? So we'll go ahead and add the redirect and it says redirect save. So for each one of the blog posts that you're moving over, you do unfortunately have to go through this manual process. I won't make you guys sit through this, but we'll fast forward the video and catch up with you in a second. All right, guys, I'm back. I finished that and you'll see here the four redirects that we were talking about. So we can actually test this out before we delete the original blog posts. Um, if we go to click on this link, you'll see that it's redirected to tonyteaches.tech, but that's not that convincing. Let's copy this URL. We'll get out of these guys and type in the full URL. So HTTPS colon slash slash TonyFlorida.com, which is website A, the old website that used to host this, and slash, oops, we don't need that slash. So just slash Namecheap dedicated server and go to that. And you'll notice that it'll redirect us right away to TonyTeaches.tech, that same exact blog post. So that's exactly what we wanted to do. The final, final step for this process of moving your blog posts from one website to another is to delete the original blog posts. So that's really easy. If you're in the posts view where you have it filtered by your category that you're moving, just click up top here to select all the posts and move to trash and apply. And there you go. Your you have done all the steps that you needed to do to transfer your blog post from one WordPress website to the other. And you actually take an extra step, which was to make sure that the blog posts are um, in good standing with Google by adding that permanent re redirect, 301 redirect from website A to website B. So um, if you guys have any questions about 
moving blog posts from one website to another, let me know in the comments below. And definitely check out my website. This is a great opportunity for me to um, pitch my website, tonyteaches.tech, which is a whole bunch of tech tutorials for starting your online business. I also have tonyfloria.com, which is going towards being a travel blog. And my YouTube channel, you're watching on my YouTube channel, so definitely consider subscribing. Um, there's more, many, many more tutorials like this that I have currently on my channel and that I plan to make in the future. So if you guys do choose to subscribe to my channel, I will see you in the next video.